Um, well, all season I've been focusing on executing my turns. And so since regionals, I've been doing a good, a good job executing the turns. So today I just went out, did the turn, and I saw Deja come on the inside of me. And instead of being my normal Kyra and just giving up, I just kept fighting through the, through the entire race. Has there been an issue for you in the past, like giving up in races? Um, no, I just always sit and kick. And I don't run the curve, but as of this year, I've been doing way better with running the curve and just running the whole race in general. What was it like, you two were neck and neck for a lot of that back straight? It was, it was kind of exciting, actually. I didn't know if she was going to win or if I was going to win. I, I focused on the finish line, about 50 to go. I stopped looking around. I stopped focusing on everything else because once she came on the side of me, I knew that this was going to have to be a race to the end because it's my last year. I didn't just, just want to give up. I didn't want to give up. Did you know she fell? Um, I did. I thought she stumbled. I didn't know she fell until like after the race. And what are your thoughts on the time? I mean, 22.02. I was shocked. I haven't ran faster than 22.4 all year and I haven't ran 22.2 since my junior year. So it was just exciting. I didn't even know I ran 22.02 until the, so I turned around to the end of the race. Oh, it means a lot because I feel like I gave up on myself a little bit last year. I got discouraged after coming back off injury and just this year it just means a lot because I've trusted my coach more and I trusted God to really be the leader of what was going on on the, off the track in my life. Oh, I just see yeah, I've been having a stress-free God full life. <laughs> Um, training has been really good and the weather in Florida has been amazing, perfect training weather and just having teammates like Eric and TJ on the men's side and then Sharika and Destiny on the women's side help push me and just see people that are going for things and getting PR and just accomplishing their goals really makes me go harder in practice. Yeah, I have I registered my freshman year, giving me this fifth year outdoor. So not having indoor kind of made me nervous. Actually, I didn't know if I was going to be at top end speed when I needed to be in my top speed. I was always doing all this worrying not having indoor, but Coach Holly just kept telling me we don't have to run fast times early. We want to run them in June. We want to run them in June. Even after the, the prelims, I was nervous because I only ran 2260. He was like, that's all right. That's all right. Just trust the process. That's just like the team motto is to trust the process right now. But now Deja was okay. running this year, did you think you had a chance to win this meet? Come on. Um, I think everybody has a chance to win any day. It's just people can run 21 seconds, 22, 25. Just doesn't doesn't really matter what you run. It all depends on what happens in this day. So I knew she would be a really good competitor based on how she was running, and I knew I couldn't slack off any of the race. And she was a really great competitor this weekend. Well, I mean, looking forward to USA to run the 200. USA. Yes. I mean, what do you think? 2202 that puts you right in the competition with this team. Um, I'm staying positive. Um, it's pretty much. A, I think I can make the team, and I just have to make sure that I focus on my lane. Don't let the hype of me distract me, and I'll be fine. Um, running professionally. Um, that's the goal. I'm just waiting to see what happens, and um, I'm gonna stay in Florida, get my real estate license, and you know, live a double life, real estate and track. That's a great coaching situation, right? Yes, perfect. That's my grandpa. Who inspires me? It's a tie between Eric and TJ because those are like my best friends on the team and just their work ethic at practice and just I talk to them separately and they're both focused on being great or being the best they can be. They pay close attention to what they do wrong. It just kind of make me get on my A game because I'm the only girl out of their little group of friends. So I try to make sure that I lead by, I follow by their example because you know they killed it in the 400 hurdles. So I knew I had to come and step up in the two. Will you try to do the real estate thing like simultaneously with your professional career? Oh no, just during the off seasons. Okay. Just so I can have like, so I won't be so bored and just extra revenue coming in. Alright, congratulations. Thank you.